One of the most asked interview questions in Angular is actually, what are the key differences between Angular version 1 and Angular version 2 plus? So why are they asking this question actually? In my opinion, I think they're asking this question to see, are you curious about the previous versions and actually what happened between the versions 1 and 2, because they are completely different versions. And also maybe you'll be working uh, on some legacy project sometimes, or you'll have to fix something on legacy page that was written in Angular JS, and you'll need just to know what to do and where are the things and where are the core things there. So in my experience, recently I had a project where I was rewriting Angular, Angular version one project into another framework. So I had to go uh, and to check logics and to, to make sure that everything is working correctly as in the, on the legacy pages. And now let's see the, the key differences. They are completely different. So version one and version two have nothing uh, in common except the name there. So the first key difference is architecture. Angular version one is actually using a model view controller or MVC uh, architecture. And Angular 2 plus is using component based architecture that improves actually readability, maintainability, and reusability. So uh, let's see on the screen here the, uh, these differences. Here we can see the AngularJS, let's say project, but it's not a just a folder with, with two files here. So we can see here that we have an application here that is defined like this. We have an app that is Angular module, sorry, and it is my, my application. And we have a, a controller here. So it is MVC model view controller. So here's the controller that we are defining. And we uh, see here that we have a service and we have a name and message and everything like this. Now, uh, when we go like, uh, we have also dependencies here. When we go to the uh, view part of this, or oh, we can see that this is actually using this binding engine controller here, actually main controller. And we can see the uh, string interpolation here with double curly braces and showing the message here. We also can see ng model here like name. So this is Angular version one. In Angular version two plus, we can see a whole different uh, architecture here. We can see the module. This is not uh, an Angular project. That's why I have here uh, these uh, errors, but this is just I created files, just to be aware. So we can see the ng module, we can see imports here and exporting class app module here. And then we can see the service, the same one that we had here. I'll just print the screen. Oops, sorry. Yeah, like this. And now we can see the service here, app service, my service, like this. And we can see the here that we have injectable and we can have a, a provided in root. So this is telling the dependency injection that we are providing this service actually to the root that to be a, a available for all modules there. So, and we are exporting the class here. As you can see, we're using uh, classes and uh, we are getting the, uh, having the method to get the message that is actually returning the stream. So these are doing the same thing, but they are different. So this is just some part of, of the differences when we are talking about the architecture. Another one, another key difference is, as you can see here, they are, they are written in the different languages. Actually, the version one is pure JavaScript, where version two is actually TypeScript. So they switched from version two, from version two to TypeScript. So this is also the key difference. Regarding the performance, uh, AngularJS. So let me let me bring to the screen the list of the differences here, so we can check. So performance side, as per, from the performance side, AngularJS uses two-way data binding, and this can lead to performance issues. The performance issues in large applications due to frequent digest cycles. What are the digest cycles actually here? Digest cycles in Angular are the way how is AngularJS checking for the changes in the code. So we have some some differences here. So let me change. So uh, well, the uh, 
the digest cycle is working like this in the three phases. So we have a change detection. When something changes like input, event, timeout, Angular checks all the variables in the scope. Then we have a dirty checking. Angular compares the values. Have they been changed? And if the value has, has been changed, it triggers another cycle to ensure that the change is the, the change actually happened. And now after that we have like a propagating the changes to the DOM actually. So regarding the property propagating, it is going like uh, uh, 10, 10 cycles in, into the depth like uh, to, to prevent uh, to prevent uh, infinite loop. So uh, AngularJS runs up to 10 digest cycles. So that does the thing with the with the Angular JS here. And Angular 2 plus uses uh, unidirect, unidirectional data flow with change detection optimization, re resulting with a better performance there. So that's the difference regarding performance here. Now we have a dependency injection. I'll just mention because I'm planning to, to record another one regarding the dependency, dependency injection implementation in Angular. So AngularJS has a simple but limited dependency injection system and Angular 2 uses hierarchical dependency injection system and is making it more flexible and powerful. That means that uh, we can see that uh, we have a like, service in AngularJS here defined and injected like this and used uh, in the, in the, uh, as a dependency here. One in the Angular 2, we have like service like this and we have an injectable here and we are injecting in the root like this. And then we are using that service in our module and in our components as well. So that's the difference between between that that one's there. So the next one is mobile support. So Angular JS is not optimized for mobile device at all. So it has no optim uh, optimization in mind when it was developed. So Angular two is designed with mobile first support like this we can see here also the next thing here are directives angular js uses actually directives heavily so we have ng model ng bind and repeat that are binded into our uh, html or view part everywhere and angular 2 uses components as the primary building blocks with the live directives, with sorry, with the directives for additional functionality like add component, add directive, and so on and so on. So it is relying more on components as a component-based based framework. Templating syntax, syntax. So this is the seventh key difference here that I have for us. Uh, AngularJS uses actually double curly braces here for interpolation and complex di directives. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, we can see that. We have like, like double curly bases here, and we also have a like ng model here. So uh, this is the one, and also uh, Angular 2 uses more structure approach. So you can see the different interpolations for different things here, actually. So we can see that when we are using property binding, we can use like square brackets. We are when we are interpolating the cl uh, clicks in events, actually. We can use uh, like these brackets just, and also a two-way da data binding is using square, square brackets and uh, and uh, these brackets just uh, yeah braces actually, and it is called like a banana in a box, like this this way of adding this uh, brackets. Regarding the routing, there's the another difference here. Routing in Angular JS, Angular JS uses ng route. Uh, or third-party libraries like URL, UI router, sorry. And Angular 2 uses a powerful and a modular Angular router. Actually, that is going from uh, Angular Core and with allows a lazy loading, a loading support that is really important because you're able to lazy load all the modules and chunk the JS files for the loading and performance optimizations. Search engine support is the next thing. Uh, Angular JS is poor it has poor support for for search engine optimization and it's mainly based on client side rendering in angular 2 plus we have a support uh, for uh, ssr or server side rendering 
with uh, using uh, Angular Universal. So this means that we can prepare our website for uh, robots, search engine robots, actually, that are reading markup language and getting the data from the website. And we are not able actually to run the script and to fetch the data and do the things for us within our application. So we have to somehow to, somehow to prepare the data and to show the data to, to our robots. So we'll, they'll be aware what is actually happening on that page uh, or, or sub page. So that's the thing. And then build and tooling. This is, this is an interesting part because if you had a chance to work with Angular version one, you were able that everything was going by foot. So there were no like CLIs, there were no Webpack or anything to, to do job for you. You actually had a grant or gulp to use for task automation. Then you will be, you will going like line by line, defining, configuring, and actually making configuration to make your application build how you would like it to build, like different folders for production, for files, for images, assets, uh, and so on, so on. So you're adding everything by yourself, and then running a script to, to build like you would like to. And now in the Angular 2 version 2 plus, you have a CLI and everything is like easier and going smoothly there. And next, a backward compatibility. From version one to version two, there is no backward compatibility. So you cannot like, they're, they're uh, as I mentioned, they are completely different. But Angular 2 has the backward compatibility and upgrades are and migrations are just going by using uh, ng upgrade CLI command there. And a usage in the modern development, AngularJS is actually outdated and not recommended for new projects. So forget it. And Angular version 2 plus is actively maintained with the regular updates widely used for enterprise applications. So that's the, the key difference. And uh, right now, in summary, we can say this, this just that uh, AngularJS is an older JavaScript-based framework with an MVC structure, while Angular 2 is a modern TypeScript-based framework with a component-driven architecture and better performance, actually. So these are some key differences between the Angular version 1 and Angular version 2. So I'm pretty sure if you tell some of these, uh, it will be great for the uh, interview questions, and that then it will prove that you actually know what is happening there and that you, you actually invested some time to, to check the differences at least. So I hope the video was uh, helpful for you and thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.